I'm Mark Smith at a snowbound White House, where President Barack Obama is trying to unthaw his domestic agenda in a new round of talks with Democratic and Republican leaders. And a short time ago, he paid a surprise visit to the White House briefing room to give us a readout. The meeting did go well, and I appreciate them making the trek. Uh, we had a good and frank conversation, and it's one that I hope we can continue on a more regular basis. Obama spoke after his first meeting with GOP leaders in two months and as he tries to get Congress to pass a jobs bill but also get back to health care. Republicans have demanded Obama toss out his health overhaul and start from scratch. Will he? What I will not do, what I don't think makes sense and I don't think the American people want to see, would be another year of partisan wrangling. In fact, Obama's briefing room appearance became his first solo White House news conference since last July, and he responded to questions on everything from the economy to Iran's defiant nuclear program. Next step is sanctions. Uh, they have made their choice so far, although the door is still open. So why a news conference now? Well, the president's aides know it's another tool in his persuasion arsenal as he tries to break an icy partisan logjam. In fact, Obama imagined Republican and Democratic leaders out here together doing snow angels. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.